looks like we might have our answers. everybody I've lost my voice the pollen here has gotten into my throat and uh, I'm telling you it's in my chest now I know it's the pollen there you go it's trying to get that cup up one hand so as you see we're still have issues it's Monday morning um, he had issues <laughs> he just threw his to be good so he's been kind of cranky this morning. Um, he holds his hand a lot. He um, touches it a lot. He's limping more today on that right foot. So we are going to go to Macon, which is about an hour and a half away. There's a children's hospital there. And we just feel like that's the best um, best way to go. I feel like he'll get more um, care. Our children's hospital, last year, we... Um, when he had RSV and he was hospitalized for four days, I think, at the Children's Hospital in Detroit, and they treated us good. And I felt like they were very attentive and very they had very specialized care. And so hopefully we have a good experience. Hopefully we'll be in our bed tonight. It's gonna be two o'clock or more before we get there because we had such a late start today and we kind of slept in and had a rough night. So um, I've got something in my eye that's bugging me. But anyway, um, hopefully. We can find out this afternoon and evening what's going on. It's a simple fix. Um, hopefully, we don't have to stay up there. So, hopefully, we don't. We we're home tonight in our bed. So, I'll keep you updated as we find out what's going on the best that I can at the hospital. Um, but like I said, we've got about an hour and a half. I'm worth the church right now, picking up a couple of things before we head out. But um, um. It's, you know, it's about an hour and a half drive, and then we'll, uh, we'll kind of see what happens. I've never been to this place, so don't really know much about it, but, um, hopefully we get answers today. Where are you going? He's like, there's all kinds of stuff for me to get into. He says, there's all kinds of stuff for me to get into. Look at all those buttons, Daddy. And gadgets. <laughs> you don't know what to think. Careful. Careful. I can't look at my phone because I'm afraid he's going to jump off this thing. It's okay. What do you think, big boy? Huh? So the doctor just came in and said that they're going to do x-rays and blood work. And they're trying to rule out an infection. Um, uh, he did not like it. <laughs> um, but they said it could be as simple as a viral, like a virus. Um, but they're going to do blood work to check for infection. Um, he had some long words for some other things. It could be just joint issues. Do you remember how he said it? I couldn't say it again if I wanted mm -mm. to. But it was like something wrong. Just, just joints. Like some of it, whatever one of them was, it just, you just have to work yourself out of it. There's nothing that you can treat it with. Um, so, anyway. He's going to have blood work and x-rays and all that kind of stuff. Which he's not going to like. <laughs> And it's time for medicine, and he's tired. Oh. He feels kind of hot, but she didn't read a temperature. Probably just from elevated. Oh. So they've been trying for like, um, probably like 15, 20 minutes to try to get a vein. They poked him three times. And they can't get any blood out. Not enough blood. So I don't know what they're going to do. <laughs> I have to poke him again to get blood. But he was traumatized pretty much. He was beat red and screaming the whole time. Because we had to hold him down. But it's so cute, baby. Um, 
You need another one? Yeah, it's awful. Yeah, it's awful. Here, look at Mickey. Uh, yeah, he's gonna be a hard poke kid, I think, because I was just telling Sean last year when he was at um, Children's in Detroit for RSV, he uh, they like to never got his IV started. That's what they're trying to do is an IV so they can draw blood. Ask him if we can give him Motrin. Yeah. Um, they like to never got it last year too when he was in the hospital. So he must be a hard poke. So um, he's pretty upset. But it's time for Motrin. So let's see if I can give him some Motrin for his arm. Captain's log. <laughs> so they tried. The doctor came in and tried to give him an IV as well. They cannot get an IV in him. They can get it in him, but they can't get blood from it. So the doctor went in his groin area and just did a blood sample just to make sure, just for culture, blood culture. Um, so he's been very traumatized. Like when during the x-ray a while ago, he was like shaking. He started shaking. I got worried. He's been very traumatized. He's very sleepy. He's probably hungry. So we're just relaxing for a minute till they come back in and start trying to do stuff again. He's so sleepy. <laughs> yourself you feel a little better now <laughs> so doctors came in and um, seemed to be more concerned about his ankle than his wrist uh, the x-rays were fine but his his white blood cell count is elevated which is an infection thing so he's worried about infection in his um, ankle so they want to do an MRI so they're gonna have to admit us and after midnight he can't have any liquids or food and then in the morning he'll have an MRI so we're here tonight so but also he'll have to have an I an, R an IV and um, they were unable to do it down here, but he said they're better up there about, they have more people that can do it, so. That's where we're at. We are still in the ER. We should be so waiting for a room. I'm a little ticked off. It's like Because he went a week with an infection and, in his um, body because this lady didn't even think about it. Sean's talking to his mom. But it's um, after 7, and he just woke up from a two-hour nap, so he's having some peanut butter crackers to hold him over till he gets something better. You may have. Look at his We're feet. waiting on a room. Look at the boo boo. You see the little poke spot? Yeah. Mom, 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 mom. Did they poke him? They poke him. See the see the two poke spots there? Can you see them? And the bruise right there? They were. Well, she's my boy. So he's like feeling so much better since he had a nap. He's eating his peanut butter and crackers and uh, enjoying his show. <laughs> And, uh, really? What you saying? He looks like he's feeling really good. And we've noticed just since he's woke up, he's using his hand. Um, this is like the first time in a week. Now watch him when he grabs his bottle. He hasn't done that in a week. So, it's a good thing. I don't know what it means, but he's using his hand a little bit. See? I mean, it's kind of like he's using it differently, but... That's good. And he's touching his feet with it. Yeah. He's touching his toes and everything. So we're in our room. And uh, he's got this little thing pulled out. It's a bed. Makes into a bed. But um, that's the only chair in here. This is just a regular chair. It's a very small room, but it is private. It has a bathroom. It has a shower. And then this is the crib. Um, so the nurse said they won't allow two chairs in here because of fire codes, like the sleeping chairs. But she said, you're more than welcome to get into the crib. It's, it, it will hold you. It's sturdy, but you can climb it there if you want. So this could be interesting. <laughs> I might be sleeping in the crib with him. It will be on the vlog. 
Sean's gonna make sure that he gets video footage of that. So, I mean, it's pretty good size. Right. Um, but um, these are, it's a whole brand new. They've completely remodeled this, so every room is new. Like, it smells new in here, don't it? Um, so it's all new. Um, there's like a closet here. Um, this is the bathroom. Let me just take you on a tour. So this is the bathroom. Where's the light? Is this the light? Oh, yeah, there's the light. So it's pretty small, but it's private. There's some towels. And then this is the shower. Um, it's locked. Okay, I don't know. I guess we have to have a key for that. The shower's actually locked. That's perfect little height for you, big boy. Look at that. So, and then this is what the room looks like. There's a chair over here. Their little workstation and a little TV and then the crib and the sleeping chair and a little thing, but it's all brand new. So Sean went and got us some overpriced dinner. I'm gonna eat, and uh, they're gonna come in and do it, try to do an RV, an IV again. So it's gonna be hard, huh? They let you go I don't know. So they just came and got my baby, and they're trying to get an IV in him. So try not to think about <laughs> crying, because we're not there, and nobody he knows is there. So yes, I'm in the crib. <laughs> I'm in the crib with him. And he's so mad because he has the IV um, thing on his hand. I don't know if you can see, we've got the lights down a little bit. Should we turn back up? No. And uh, he's mad. They didn't have any problems getting in. They had, um, I don't know what AE lock means, but um, they got it in pretty good, so. And he just had some tramadol, so. But he's really frustrated about it. Really frustrated. Let's see if we can brighten this up a little bit. Could you? Whoosh! Whoosh! <laughs> oh, you can do it! There you go! He's watching TV. So, here is the update. Um, they're not going to do an MRI this morning. Um, the doctors have talked and they think that it's not needed. They think he has uh, just toxic synovitis, which is a common joint inflammation after a cold or virus. So that's what they're thinking it is. They're not going to give him his next dose of pain medication to see if he um, if he gets a fever. Um, that would change their mind probably, and they'd go ahead and, and do an MRI. But if he doesn't have a fever and he doesn't change, uh, we'll probably get to go home and just follow up with Motrin. Um, I researched online and it said it can take up to four to five weeks to go away. So um, it's just, it is kind of common in babies and toddlers. So um, that looks like we might have our answer. So you know, I'd have to do an MRI. You know, I just have to be, have anesthesia or any of that. So that's a good thing. Um, so we're just kind of waiting now today to see uh, if he gets a fever or has any other symptoms without the anti, uh, without the pain medicine. So that's where we're at. So I'm going to take a shower in a little bit. Thank God. You need a shower. I'm a mess, y'all. How'd you sleep? Not good, but probably better than Lynette, because Lynette too chose not to sleep. Well, I slept in the crib um, with him until about 5. He didn't go to sleep till 1. Um, and then about 5, he had. they came in and gave him his 
IV of medicine, and so I got out of the crib to go to the bathroom and stuff. I didn't get back in because he had so much more room, and he was so comfortable, and he slept good after 5 o'clock. So I, did, I just couldn't get back in bed with him and ruin that. So I kind of sat here and just laid my head over the end and catnapped a little bit, but, um, yeah. I'm feeling pretty rough, but I'll make up. I'll make it up. <laughs> so I'm going to take a shower in a minute and get cleaned up for the day. He's watching Mickey. <laughs> so I just showered. They have a, a big I shower it, yeah. down in the hallway. There's one in our room, but it's um, it was locked because it's shared between two rooms. So she told me about the one down the hall, and it was big. So plenty of room to move around and stuff. But while I was gone, Sean said they, the lady from Child Life, she came around and brought him some toys, age-appropriate toys to play with. And he's having a ball. <laughs> fire truck and blocks and he's just going to town and he's using that right arm like he never I heard. know You put your head down. somebody can get that IV out and then get our discharge and dinner it's ordered too he's being so cute right now he's been playing with his toys for a while now he's just playing so good we're gonna get that thing off of your wrist in a minute yeah you're being so good we are on our way home I am exhausted you know, I've got this junk in my throat anyway, but I sound bad, but that's not what's wrong. I'm exhausted. I didn't get any sleep last night. Um, I did take a nap this afternoon, but I didn't get any sleep. So we are about an hour from home. It's 730. We just stopped at a gas station um, to get some snacks and drinks. Uh, Sean hasn't eaten anything for dinner. And so um, this is going to end this video. Um, I know you you all have been so supportive on social media and I appreciate all of your prayers for a little man and you guys have been awesome we have just received so many messages and um, on Facebook and texting and thank you guys for your prayers and your support um, you know all came out well he's still limping and still has pain but um, it can take up to four to five weeks for this to heal um, it is, uh, they don't believe it's viral infection. They just believe it's this toxic synov synovitis, which is, um, they think he had a cold or a viral infection, like a sickness, and it comes from that. So, um, anyway, pretty good prognosis. So, listen, thank you guys for watching this video. This video is going to include all of our hospital stuff, and hopefully the conclusion right now. Um, for what's going on with little ma'am. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss one of our videos and we will see you next time. Bye!